Machine Story with Manti and Andy. It all began after dawn when streams of sunlight entered the garden floor. All were alert and careful. Each cautiously looked for a meal, hoping in turn not to be one. In that environment, paying attention was a must. Under a nest, two frogs smartly hid behind some rocks. Three butterflies, however, took a chance feasting on nectar. A kiskadi was watching. It readied itself for breakfast, but not yet. Not too far off, sheltered by a tall rose plant, was a small white pot containing a rice fern. Couched inside its greenery lay a motionless village spider waiting for any judder to pounce. He had not eaten for days. Today, however, was going to be his lucky day or so he thought. Suddenly, he felt a frantic vibration. He ambled across to see what was for breakfast. It was Andy, slipping off the tall rose plant and landing on the silky woven treads, which all the local insects knew as the coffin of death. Some distance away, Manti had just finished a meal of aphids. He was cleaning himself when he heard the cries of a familiar voice. The village spider was excited with his catch and looked forward to having ant juice for breakfast. He hadn't tasted any for quite some time. Andy tried feverishly to escape but only entangled himself even more on the sticky threads. As the spider crept in closer to wrap up his prey, Manti flew across and ripped through the silky net, rescuing Andy from his clutches. Andy, now feeling some relief, exclaimed, Oh, how glad I am to see you! Soon after finding a resting place, Manti said, You should be more careful. Mr. Cranky Spider hadn't eaten a meal for days. You would have given him the energy he so desperately craved. Andy, still catching his breath, said, Thank you for saving my life. Certainly, I would not want to give him that energy you speak of. By this time, the village spider had to fend for his life. A wasp was instantly upon him. There was no struggle and before long, he was gone. Andy was stunned. As if that wasn't enough, the wasp which ate the spider was being stalked by the kiskadi. The kiskadi devoured the wasp but did not seem satisfied. His eyes were now set on Manti and Andy. Andy then quickly mounted Manti's back and they made a dash for it. At last, they were in a safe place comfortably resting under some anturium flowers. After allowing Andy to crawl off his back, Manti said, That was a serious feeding frenzy and we could have been part of it. 
Andy, still a little shaken, remarked, It is the closest I've come to giving someone my energy. By the way, what does it really mean to have energy? Manti then flitted and fluttered about and said, Did you see what I just did? Having energy means being able to do all these activities. It comes from the food we eat. It also allows us to carry out all the work we need to do. Andy became excited with his new knowledge and commented, When I eat fungus, fruits and vegetables, I get energy! Manti remarked, Yes! When I eat beetles, spiders, and crickets, I too get energy. The pathway energy takes is described as a food chain. Let's suppose the spider had sucked you dry. Here is what a food chain with you in it would look like. Manti then created a food chain on the floor below. The decaying rose petals would be eaten by the fungus. And the fungus would be eaten by the ant. And the ant would be eaten by the spider. Andy responded, I guess you can also say it shows a food relationship between plants and animals. Very good, Andy. We call it a food chain when energy moves from one organism to the next in one direction or pathway. Food webs, however, are made up of many food chains. The energy passes along many different pathways. Oh, yes. I can remember when a food chain was being made. I saw a fly feeding on a mango. A little while after, that same fly was eaten by a frog and that same frog was eaten by a snake. Manti gave an example of his own by mentioning that he had seen a water lily being eaten by a koi and the koi was then eaten by an egret. Andy now became certain that energy was the link which connected all living things in a food chain. He also understood how food webs were formed. Finally, he exclaimed, We can learn so much from the world around us.